Hi guys, <coughs> thought I'd do a video uh, dismantling this thing. So I've got a few tools at the ready, so there is something dead. I'm not too sure of what that is. I think it's a dead spider. It is a dead spider. <laughs> okay. The dead harvest. Right, where to start? Up the top, I suppose. So, I'm going to try and get the camera at the angle. <laughs> Four screws holding this top plate on. Which is plastic, I think. La -da 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 -da. Full of dust and other crap where it's been sitting around. Wouldn't be surprised if I'll find a live harvest spider on here. I know there's a live one in the bedroom at the minute. Right, take them off. It's a bit for the bin. In fact, I'm going to stick the bin right down by me. Now this. That's the scan mechanism. So, uh, I will be somehow taking off the motor. Haven't quite figured out how yet, but. Right. Uh, let's start with this side because there is uh, quite a few useful elements on this side. Elements? parts, whatever you want to call them. We've got this big old core. Oh, I can't grip it with that one. I'm going to need a different flat head. Yeah. That's chemical. I haven't got one handy. I think the one I want is in the bedroom. Okay, so I'll come back to that. Um, grab the cutters, because I've got a cable tie right there. This is full of cable ties. Okay, that connector block would be handy. Disconnect some wires. This thing takes, uh, runs on 110 volts. So I presume that's what this does, take the 240 input down to, uh, um, 110. It's got the diagrams and everything all on here. Get one wire, it's got to be a pain in the fucking ass. Oops, do apologise for my language. Right. I think we've got a little ground wire connected to the frame here, that's good. Can I get it off? Could get it off with a slightly smaller Phillips, I think. Looks like I got need my tray of hexagon keys as well. Sort of live on now. Where did I put my tray of hexagon keys? I moved them. I moved them off of here. Um So many of these, I decided to just put them all in here. Good. 
keep some of the nuts and bolts out of this as well. Can I... <laughs> Just do it the easy way. Ah, that's held on there with a nut and bolt. Do with um, a small pair of uh, doodars. Pliers, that's the one. box. Right, well I'll take the fuse carrier off from the other side I think. I'll just take that off. I'll turn that around. Cut the bolt. It'll be easier to get the pliers in from that side. Hmm, you may not need them. I think I just loosened it. I have. <laughs> well, what about that? got power coming directly out. So, that'll give me enough wire to play with. Got fuse carrier. I'm not going to be needing that. Let me guess, this is bolted on as well with a... Oh yeah, that's what I was doing, wasn't it? I don't know what Nemo's whinging for. I can hear him in the background. I forgot a wire. Not sure what this wire. I'm not sure what any of these wires do, to be honest. There we go. One connector block. It's battery like. Battery's okay for now, but if it does suddenly cut off, it's because it's gone dead. But I do have spares over there, so I will just pick up where I left off. to the camera. Now I know these cameras have two different power inputs. 12 volt. I think the 110 volt. That's what this blue and uh, yellow pair of wires is for. So I'm just going to hopefully I can cut the cable ties without cutting into the wire. Yes. I've got two black wires going up here as well. It's going to something mounted on the side here. I'll uh, show you in a bit. If I can. I'll just try to get all the uh, cable ties I can see. Ah. I can't get to those ones. <laughs> I'll have to wait. Um. I think. I'm snipping a few cables off and trying to get that off. I don't think there's much else on this side to do. I've sort of done the boring side first. Oh, I cut one down here. There's another one. I'll just lean that that way for a minute. goes into something on the side here, but I can't get that off till I get the camera out of the way. Right. Check that over there. We'll check the nuts and bolts and screws in one pile and we'll leave a little bit to another. Some kind of a a momentary switch in here of some sort. Yeah, that's the thing I'm curious about. 
Look into my eye. Okay. I'll come back to that. We'll do this side next. See a lot of this wiring up the top here. This all goes into the stem. So if you look, it's like a din plug. That's where um, it would go out to all the control stuff and whatnot. In the uh, well, wherever the security guards sat watching the cameras. But we don't have that now. Not since we had the new ones fitted. Chucking those over there, and I've got a bin right down here. Dipstick. Right, so that's that. I shouldn't, in theory, have to cut any wires because I should be able to uh, disconnect them from the blocks here. Well, actually, in fact, I can do that. They just plug in. There's a blank one there. There's that one. Didn't know you could get those. I'll keep these plugs though. They can come off. Uh, try and get as much of these epoxy cable ties. I suppose there's one way to save a bit of cash, isn't it? I'll put it all together with the cable ties. Okay. We've actually extended the wires, look. Some heat shrinking going on there. Oh well, I'm just going to do this then. One pair. Two pair. Three pair! And I can tell you what controller does of that. If I can remember where they plugged into. Yeah. So that one was plugged in there. That one was plugged in there. I'll try and leave those wires there. Uh, just so we can um, see later what wire controlled what. Because apart from audio, this had the full works. Tilt. Zoom. Just like I said, the old system, it used to be monitored. It's not monitored anymore. Right, that's for a motor. Ah, so this one right down the bottom. That's your control for your pan. Because obviously that would rotate in the pan. So, we figured that one out. We know what the black and red and white stripe is. Okay, so I can go ahead and remove the board now. If it will come off. Not that way I want. Oh, I see the standoffs. Well, it's bolted on it. Yeah. This board's on some standoffs. I might have to get my head in shot for a minute because I've got to find the screws. Really? Only three? Three. No, we've still got one more somewhere. Where is it? Ah, right in the middle. It's hidden. <laughs> Do apologise for getting my head in the way. There we go. We have circuit board off. Ah, that goes to the camera for the camera controls. Somehow. Somehow this plug comes apart, but I don't know how. I know it comes apart because I took it off the other camera. Um. Oh. Slipped the wire there. 
I probably didn't want to snip. <laughs> Oops. We've got four standoffs there. Right. This is why I've got any two bars, I think. One on there. As long as I can get them loosened. Like that. I can just. There's a washer. One. I uh, might have to do the bottom two later on. Oh, that one was already loose. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember that this was a bit of a pain in the ass to get apart. Looks like hexagonal screws again. Come on, I've got the right one first time again. This motor is the tilt mower. Tilts the camera up and down. Well, not anymore because I'm taking it off. Ooh, there. There's some washers and things down here. Little grip washers and whatnot. Right, four of these to undo, and I think no, I've got um, got a bloody thing in the way of that one. I can't get to the nut at the minute. There's like a metal disc on the other side of this motor I've got to take off. I don't know what I used a mix of uh, hexagon screws and whatnot. Um, standard Phillips. Thankfully they haven't used any flatheads because I absolutely hate flatheads. I hate them with a the bloody vengeance. Stupidest, most stupidest invention ever. They serve no purpose other than to piss you off. <laughs> well, at least they piss me off anyway. I hate flathead screws. Or slot screws. If you prefer to call them slot. mechanism arm off. Or one of them anyway. Right, so don't oh, yeah okay. Well if that problem solved I'm getting there with a needle nose plot. I think that gap was big enough. The nut is nearly off. Typically. Just a couple of turns on this and it should uh, come off. Right. Theory. How did I get that off before? I don't know, it's pressed on there. Let's try a lever. It's not pressed on there, is it? I think. It's a bit rusty in there, but I can't see. Is that hex gun? Here's 
big one. A little larger. That's if this is going to come off, of course. It's a bit rusty in there. Not a little bit bigger than that one. That's the bet, and that one's too big. Oh, no. Oh, perfect slide. go, one motor, along with cam, all right, what the hell is that stuck on there, oh well, I don't want that anyway, boing, one tried an engineering motor, I'm doing it over here. Here's the control wires for the tilt, the purple and black. Uh, seems to be another dingy little motor here attached to the system. Again, with a little hexagon screw in here to hold the end on the motor. I think it's a motor anyway. It's attached to the other end of uh, get off there you bastard. To the other end of the tilt arm anyway. How do I get that off then? What have I got to do? I'm doing that, you haven't got I'm doing that. Oh Contelec Swiss PL300 5K slash M AAV. Put this uh, washer and nut back on here. That's connected on there as well. Okay. Couple of loose nuts there. Right, we're getting somewhere slowly. There's the spring adjustment on the back here. Another cable to come on. A bunch of them all zip tied together there. Now Another momentary switch, click. Right. I suppose up the top here again. Take all the oh. <laughs> Hang on. I'll just uh whoop. taking that um oh. Stay. Taking this top thing off. Oh, hang on. That's got to come off, I think. I think that's got two as well. That has. I didn't want that come off in a hurry, did I? Oh. Okay. Hopefully when I get this plate off, or the assembly off, and the screws are undone, then this whole thing, on, I think, should come off. It's ages ago since I took the other one apart that I can't remember. Wire pokes through there. 
um, the pan assembly off. Glued on with something. through there. Now that looks suspiciously like a 5mm hex. Pretty certain it is. That wasn't even on there tight. Oh shit. I'll just throw everything everywhere. the um, motor that drives the pan mechanism. Next, let's pick up some of these washers and the things that have dropped. Right. Ah. I see the camera's bolted on. Just fit. I've got a feeling it's actually an 11. That's what was holding the camera to the caddy. There we go, no more. So now, in theory, when I do this, the camera's stuck in place. Wash holding that. Oh, yeah, them stupid bleeding cable ties. Input this is on in a minute. Same as the other camera, I think, the 12 volt. Shit. Twang. Getting bloody hands stuck. Right. JVC camera. Camera. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. I do hate this camera. I hate the tripod rather, not the camera. Righty ho! We're nearly there, boys and girls. two of these where I got this one from and they've been sitting there in all weathers rain, frost you name it and they're still there for over a year well over a year now so I'm actually tempted to go and have the others <laughs> right, I'm just picking 
nut. And rubbish, some of these cable ties. Well, remnants. There's my circuit board, the control board. Which means I can get a, a 110 supply working on one of these through that board. I should be able to use all the tilt and zoom functions. Pardon me. In theory. Another one down here. It's not enough in the ideal of spots to get to, but I think I can manage it. We've sort of uh, put double nuts on these. I've got one on the outside, and one on the inside, sort of acting as a standoff. Annoyingly. Oh, shit. Getting there. Just to pull off the transformer. And I think that would be it. That's the other momentary savage. Don't know what screw this is, but I'll take it out anyway. I actually appear to be adjusting something. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, don't know if I'm going to get in there. Not with a screwdriver, I'm not. I need a really short. Not unless. Or some miracle. Some dinky little wrenches. It's not that one, is it? No. So what's that? That's a six. I need smaller than a six. I think six is the smallest I've got. Shit. Well, I can stay on there for the time being then. If I can't get it off. Not unless I get this mechanism off. It's a damn sight lighter now. switches. Got cable along there but I don't think that cable's going or anything. That goes to that thing, whatever it is. I'll worry about them a few little bits. Probably tomorrow. Well, that is it. Ooh, half an hour of video. Still recording, aren't I? Yes, good. It hasn't froze on me like it has done before. That 
was seriously annoying. Right. Put the Allen keys back there in the tin. More little bits of uh, zip ties. Tools, another zip tie. There. Done. <laughs> and uh, to connect it to a TV, I just change that and just wire an RCA connector on it. That's all I did with the other one. And then just connect it to the yellow AV input. Simple. It's got all the set up buttons on the side here. Exactly the same as the other one. There's little dinky little flick switches in there to activate different settings and whatnot. Colour video camera. It's old. This is from sort of like 2000, 2001, I expect, when. Um, There's a date on it anywhere. It might be on the chassis actually. On the stickers. There's the one on the stickers. 29th of the 8th, 2001. That was, well, that's the inspection sticker. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty old. Thanks a lot for watching. It was a bit too close to my face, wasn't it? <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to know more about anything, because I'm going to keep pretty much most of this, then drop us a comment. And, uh, did I say subscribe? I can't remember. If I didn't, then please subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.